really it's epidemic in our society, sleep issues. Felicia can testify to this, that a lot of the people that come to us, their poor health is reflected in their poor sleep. You know, whether it's uh, the chicken or the egg, it, you know, one causing the, at some point when people get sick enough, they just don't sleep well. They may, they may sleep a lot, but they don't a lot of times sleep well. And I'll define that here in a second, but we are talking about an epidemic problem, this altered sleep-wake cycle that we all need to have. In other words, our circadian rhythm, our body runs off of on this circadian rhythm. It's generally a 24-hour cycle. Sleep is part of that. Whenever we have it messed up, whenever it's altered, uh, some of the things that we will see are the obvious, people having trouble falling asleep, how many of you might have that issue or have had that issue? A lot of times people can fall asleep, but they can't stay asleep. That's a big problem, especially with thyroid well, patients, by the way. But I think the biggest thing is, is an indicator. How are you feeling when you get up in the morning? How rested are you? How rejuvenated do you feel? If I were to ask you on a scale of one to 10, first of all, your energy level, 10 being the most, one being the least, you know, where are you? That's an indication a lot of times of the kind of quality sleep that we're getting. But more importantly, how refreshed are we in the morning? When you wake up on a scale of one to 10, one being feeling like you didn't sleep, 10 feeling completely rejuvenated, where would you put yourself? In my opinion, if you're not an eight, nine, or a 10, then you're not gaining the benefit of good quality sleep. We need to really talk about that.